see these are my instructions that I have drew out meticulously. There it is. So this is three sides of the foundry. Do the same thing, cut three more. Safety first. As you can see, these moves are very minute. The plate's only a quarter inch thick, but it is metal. I think I'm going to use a plasma cutter for the rest of them. That line and that line. Boom. Now we're going to do that about three more times. We see the sparks coming up out of the bag for the cut because my air compressor tank only holds 15 gallons of compressed air and this thing shoots it out pretty fast so there's not enough air pressure. That's there it is folks. There's the first three walls and a six. Six walls per two. Alright, so we got all six pieces cut out. So, six feet by six feet. I clean up a little bit, and then we're going to weld it together. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to get to welding them. You see what I did here? These two are the plates that I'm going to weld together. This plate here is holding this one up so that there's going to be a gap, quarter inch gap. Only the corners of these two plates are touching. So now I'm going to do what's called a fillet weld. I'm going to fill up that whole crease. Make sure it's sealed up nice and tight to keep the heat inside. I'm going to try to do it in little bitty sections to avoid as much warpage as possible. Now, now we'll bolt it out and then I'm going to connect them. We're going to double check, make sure it's still 90. These look good, but like I said, not sure how. Actually, you know, I think at this point it's good enough. One connection. Two connections. That one. All right, that's cool enough. Let's keep going. Another connection. Well, cool. Last one.
there it is. We'll do that a couple more times. And uh, I'll get back to you. All right, so I got the two corners here. Now we'll try to fit them up to make a box, a square box. That looks pretty good. Also looks pretty good. I'm going to go with it. Notice I'm well uphill. Uh, some people think downhill is easier. Uphill is better. You get more penetration. It's just better all around. I want to see a little lopsided because as you can see these are, are different sizes but I'm going to lay that other piece right up in here put it up against this and I think it should be fine I think what we're going to have to do is a band and try to be exact 90 put that shit together and fucking take it that's what I'm going to do Good. Now, do the same thing. Probably don't want to watch. Just gonna have continuous weld, just like this side. Make sure the factory cement doesn't come out. Alright, uh, here's the four sides 16 by 16 by 16. 16 inch cube. That's pretty close. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn back around, so we have a place to put the clamp. It's going to be about the daylight, but that's alright. If you're a welder, you can weld. And I'm pretty sure I'm a welder. Try to travel a little slower. A little slower, a little wider. Looks pretty good. Do that a couple more times. So I'm going to figure out where the middle is. I'm going to cut it out with the plasma torch. That is where I'm going to cut my hole for the top. Safety first. Alright, 
Alright, so as you can see, I cut out pieces, grind them down, and uh, this is going to be the front and the door. Finish the one of the door. All right? Three inches thick. Twelve inch by twelve inch. That's gonna be the door. This is gonna be the front. I think I touch on it later, but uh, this step where I'm about to weld the face on, I think it would have been better if I would have waited until after I poured to weld it on. I want to show you what I mean about the big gap and how you gotta go slower, a little bit wider. All right, so here's the gap. I'm not sure if you could see it. That's a pretty big gap, but we could get it with welders. All right, you might not have been able to see the weld process but you can see the before and after right see that you can close up a gap just go a little bit wider a little bit slower you're gonna see a bigger puddle don't get scared puddle likes to stay where the heat is all right I'm gonna continue to do the rest come back when I'm done all right so here I am um, but I got to this point and if I make the form exactly like this there's going to be no way for me to be able to actually pour the concrete in there so then I thought hey cut this bucket cut off a little bit of excess right here on the corners but I didn't want to do that either so I think what I'm going to end up really doing is instead of making a square, I'm gonna make what is the hexagon with eight sides. I'm just gonna do I have 45s right here, right here, right here, right here. So I can pour the concrete in on the corners. Alright, so here this piece that I just cut, I'm going to cut into four more pieces. They're going to be the large sides of the form. Now I'm going to cut the four smaller sides of the form with 45 degree angles on both sides. Now I'm going to cut some 2x4s for supports between the plate and the 45 degree angle which is actually 90 degrees plus 45 which is 135 it's going to fit inside there uh, so 
So yeah, 135 degree angle on the support. I'm going to do that eight times. Four for the top, four for the bottom. Perfect. Now that I have my eight pieces cut out, and my four big pieces and my four small pieces, I'm going to glue them all together and screw them together. Is it a right here? See what I'm saying? Just those off, and it's gonna be perfect. All right, so as you can tell, I'm gonna be working on the floor. Um, I tried a couple times with PVC, different sizes of PVC. Tried uh, whatever I tried didn't work as far as the inlets for the gas. Couldn't get the form to work. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna use a square tubing, right? Use a square tubing, jam it in there. I'm going to let it uh, cure a little bit, then I'm just going to twist it around, and hopefully it makes the desired circle. Good mix to me. Uh, I've been doing a couple things. Took a square, square piece of this quarter inch plate. I cut out two round, round plates. Here it is. Here's one of them. This is what's actually going to hook up to the propane tank. Fire is going to come out this end. This is going to control the airflow. 
gas going in here. Um, I taped up holes so we could just get ready to pour. I got these straps holding in the mold. You remember the octagon that I built? Straps are holding them in so that it doesn't move when I start pouring. Um, this is the door. We're going to fill that up as well. Yeah, I guess to start mixing. No water, no concrete. That's pretty good. Now for the port. Basically, we're going to rinse and repeat until it's full. Alright, so I'm almost starting to believe that this is full now. See? Can you see? See, I want to jam this in. You can see it coming out of other areas. So, I almost believe it. Still going to do a couple little more. Scrape off the excess. Definitely feeling the burn. All right, so the back there. Still wet. It was the bottom when I poured. So, like I said, it's only been two days of curing, drying. So it's been sitting on its back, and all the excess water that came out from the concrete here fell inside the hole. So on top of that, there was a piece of plywood, and then a puddle of water. So that's very, very moist in the back there. But I got the form out. Now, as long as I just let it sit here and dry for another, I don't know, 12 days, it's ready to go. And there will be plenty of videos of me using it. So uh, I decided this piano hinge I got on here is too flimsy. Uh, this thing weighs a ton. I was wrestling trying to get it on the stand and I moved it the wrong way to where the hinge bent. Now I'm worried that it's going to get too hot and it's going to melt the hinge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of angle here, cut it seven foot sections. I'm going to have like, like, I'll put two handles on the door, I'll put two sliding sections up here like this, and then I'm just going to slide the door in and out. So that's the new plan.
test my fit up real quick. You see that? Cut that off. Without cutting off anything else, like a finger. setup I made. This is the crucible that's supposed to fit in there. Man. Looks good. Looks real good. Ready? Boom! Here we go, attempt number one. Maybe this ain't working. I got fire. My friend, good job well done.